covered with lime and sand. So for the finished coat, we want nice and pretty thin. Wow, it looks like Petmo Bismo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just about getting it a lot on quickly because you don't want to come back and flatten the whole surface. I might put a little bit extra on just for for flattening surface surfaces. And then that's good enough to leave it for until you until it dries up just a tiny bit more. You can move on to your second patch. So you have to be really fast, huh? It's it looks like preferable that yeah, you put it on. I mean smaller areas to be able to do it at once because with a finished coat like this it just up so quickly. <coughs> It's not like totally necessary, but it sure helps in plastering to to be able to things come out better when you do it a little bit on the speedy end. Some chunks in there. <laughs> Oops. Huh. Somebody must have thrown those in. The birds. And while you're doing this, you want to just keep that trowel as flat as you can kind of get it almost. And then start bonding into your last one. And doing full cool strokes. Did that piece come out? Mm -hmm. that? I'm wondering, um, I want you to pick up at it. I'm wondering, um, if whatever you left standing on the door is just kind of just a little bit. A lot of straw in here, Daryl. Yeah, because now the planes of the door don't perfectly match. So that's this molar show? Yeah, that's just to start smoothing it out a little bit. Since these walls are a little bit still too curvy for that big one. It's better to go over with this. It's better to get
These are all the knuckles from the straw. And if we do this again, we'll screen the straw. This mix doesn't have straw? You guys didn't put any straw in it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it has straw. All these knuckles. These but that was the, like big pieces of straw. These are the knuckles, and those are oh. too thick for the mix. And these are rocks in the mix. Just kind of bring out some of that cream, the lime cream, to the outside. You just kind of push it to the bottom, or what? And I'm just kind of gliding on the top and trying to get whatever this, see this cream right here? Yeah, yeah. Right into so this is, there we go, we need that. I'm taking up the color now. Okay, what do you need?
to be up. This might be the way to do it, is right into the wet plaster as soon as you put it on. The edges will blend better. Yeah, I like that better than the brush. Yeah, that looks good. That's right away. Yeah. This is like medium. This would be kind of right away, it would be like over a wet coat of plaster. Now I think it's a matter of, yeah, just getting it to kind of look like it was all part of the same. I think that is the How did you want to glue that end grain? Did you have a preferred way of that? Maybe well. You got that here? Mm -hmm. So we wanted to add something to it, yeah. But I have a script that we can put on there right before. <clears throat> All right, so should we just should we do the glue? Yeah, and then do the end piece next week when you bring the baby out. The little bottom piece. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. No. Well, I mean, it's a problem in place. You have to take the rock. Yeah. 